Hi everyone there, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel English with Ms. MK and welcome to this new video in which we're going to present a very interesting test that recapitulates the first sequence of fourth year English program. So as we said in the previous videos, the first sequence involves three important points, describing a landmark, reporting a trip, and writing a biography about an important person or an important figure. So the test that I have prepared for you today involves the three points that we talked about in the previous videos. As you may know, an English test or exam contains four parts. First, you've got the text. Then, part one, reading comprehension, where you have three activities. The first activity, true or false, generally speaking. Sometimes you've got table to complete, sometimes you've got gaps to fill, it depends. Activity two, answering questions. Activity three, synonyms and antonyms. Then you have part two, mastery of language, where you have activity one, two and three. They are, of course, related to the grammar and pronunciation lessons you've dealt with in your courses. Then at last, you've got part three, written expression, where you have to write a paragraph. Before we read the text, I'd like you to bring a dictionary to look for the difficult words you may encounter or find in the text. Hello, my name is Yasin. I'm so glad to tell you about my trip that I had last year with my family. First, we went from Bouferic to Constantine by car with a stopover of three days in cities. We visited Sidim City Bridge and took pictures of her there. After that, we went to Bethna and visited Tim Garden Ari cities. Finally, I came back home after spending nice moments. In Constantine, I have learned many things about the great monument of Sidim Seed Bridge, which is 175 meters high. It was built in 1912 and designed by Ferdinand Ardonin. It was made of iron. At the same time, I had the chance to know about the famous Islamic scholar Abdul Hamid ibn Badis, who founded the Algerian Muslim Scholars Association in 1931. In my visit to Betna, the amazing landmark of Timga city has attracted me by its historical heritage, which was a Roman Berber city in the Aras Mountains of Algeria. It was founded by the Emperor Trajan. In the same region, I went to Aris to know about our hero, Mustafa bin Bulaid, who is one of the greatest Mujahideen and was a FLN and OS important member. Now, I want you to scan the text. You have to scan it. How do you scan a text? You ask yourself questions. How many paragraphs are there? In which tense the verbs are conjugated? Are there difficult words? Is there a title? What are the keywords of the text? What is the type of the text? If it is descriptive, where am I going to find the adjectives? Look for the theme of the text. What is dominating? What are we talking about? All these questions are important. And something more important than that, you read the text at least, at least three times. You have to read the text three times at least. Au moins trois lectures. Après avoir posé toutes ces questions, باش تعرفوا مليح النص باش نوعا ما تحفظوا النص تاعكم لانكم كي تقراو زوج قراءات ولا ثلاث قراءات راح تحفظوا النص تاعكم كي تقراو لي كيستيون راح تجيكم سهله باش تلقاو لا ريبونس باسكو تكونوا حفظتوا النص في راسكم تسالوا على نوع النص على عدد الفقرات على العنوان على الكلمات الطاغيه في النص هل هي صفات دونك وصفي هل هي دي يعني أفعال في الماضي دونك سردي دونك سا ديبو. Let's explain the text. 
Hello, my name is Yasin. I'm so glad to tell you about my trip that I had last year with my family. First, we went from Bufarik to Konstantin Laikov. So Yasin went on a trip with his family around Algeria. He visited Konstantin, Betna, and Sidi. And of course, he had the chance to know about the culture of all these places. This is the summary of the, of, the, of the text. Let's move now to the first part, reading comprehension, Bina al-Fikri. Activity one, write true or false, correct the false ones. So you have to read very, very, very carefully your instructions. First sentence, Yasin went to Betna before Constantine. In his visit to Constantine, he didn't take any pictures. If it is false, it's false, so you have to correct the sentence. If it is true, it's true. No correction. No justification. Activity 2. Answer the following questions. When did Yasin go on a trip? When? Keyword. Not where, when. Second question. Where did he make the stopover? Be careful to the verbs when you answer. If the question, if the verb of the question is in the past, the answer is going to be in the past, of course. Third question, did Abdul Hamid ibn Badis found the Algerians Muslim Scholars Association in 1932? Here, when you have a question with an auxiliary did or was or is, it means it's a yes or no question. Generally here, you've got three questions. Two questions with WH means when, where, what, and so on. And the third question, generally involves an auxiliary, was, is, are, did, do, etc. So the answer is yes or no, and of course you carry on your answer. Activity 3, find in the text words that are closest, means synonyms, or opposites in meaning to the following. Monument, you find it in the third paragraph, unknown, second paragraph, Constructed second paragraph, different third paragraph. Alors, here I'd like to tell you something very important. If the word is a noun, is you will find a noun here. Ism synonym ta ism. Ma yqdrsh ykun ism muradif ta fel. A noun, adjective, synonym, adjective. Constructed verb, synonym, verb. Different adjective. Opposite adjective. Here constructed, it depends. You can find the verb with ed at the end and you can find an irregular verbs. So be careful. Part 2 now, Mastery of Language. Activity 1. Supply the punctuation and capital letter where necessary. Taj Mahal is a famous landmark situated in India. You have to put full stop, comma, capital letter, it depends. Second activity. Write the sentence in the passive voice. So the sentences here, sorry, are in the active voice. My pupil did his homework. They took pictures in Constantine. She visited England last year. So here, be careful to the verbs. Did, which is an irregular verb. So check your book. They took pictures, took, irregular, check your book. Visited, it's a regular verb, so you don't need to check anything. It's easy. Activity 3. Classify the following words in the right column according to the diphthong sound. Here, I have underlined the diphthongs. So you've got I, A, AU, OI. So you read these four words and you classify them according to the pronunciation of your diphthong. We move now to the written expression. Your English friend was eager to come to Algeria and visit Algiers. You decided to go on a trip with him. Report to your friends your trip in which you describe what you did in steps. The transport you took, landmarks you visited, pictures you took, and souvenirs you bought using the simple past of course, based on strong adjectives, discourse markers first, then and this may help you. So, I have given you here some places to visit. 
So you have to structure your uh, paragraph using first, after that, next, using the verbs in the past simple, using base and strong adjective, good, amazing, and of course, don't forget the indentation, Zbayad, and punctuation, of course. So, these are some places. You can choose three or four. Maqam Shahid Martyrs Memorial, Jardin de Sel Hama, La Grande Poste, Big Post Office, Casbah, uh, the new big mosque, uh, the new big mosque, the, the, the huge mosque they built recently, and Notre Dame d'Afrique. Notre Dame d'Afrique. So you choose just three or four places to tell or report your trip. So you have one hour and a half to do this test. One hour and a half. So you stop the video, you do your test, then we move to correction. Hi again, my dear pupils. I hope it's not that difficult. So the correction of the first activity, the first sentence is false. The correction, he went to Constantine before Batna. So you just have to inverse these places. The second, in his visit to Constantine, he didn't take any pictures. It is false because he took pictures of Residium Seed Bridge. So you have to read the text carefully in order to answer your questions. Activity two, when did Yasin go on a trip? When I say go, the past of go is went. Be careful. Here, you have did. كيفاش نعرفو une phrase بلي راهي في الباسي؟ لا question تاعنا راهي بالديد، دونك سي لو باسي. في لا ريبونس اوتوماتيكمون كاس كون في؟ توجور نحو لوكسيليار، اون با بوزون دوكسيليار. نحو لوكسيليار تاع لا question ونديرو لو فيرب تاعنا هذا في لو باسي، باسكو لو فيرب يتبع الوقت تاع لوكسيليار. So he went on a trip. علاش went؟ باسكو go it's an irregular verb. يتبدل. Where did he make the stop over? La même chose, did. هنا باش نعرفو بلي الفيرب تاعنا راهو في الباسي دونك سي ديد نحو ديد في لا ريبونس ميك نديروها في الباسي ميك ايريغولار فيرب دونك نديرو ميد هي ميد ستوب اوفر ان سيديف ثيرد ديد عبد الحميد ابن باديس فاوند ذا الجيريانز مسلمز اسوسيشن ان 1932 نو هي ديدنت هنايا عندكم شورت انسر يعني جواب قصير la difference between hadi and hadi, the difference between this question and this question. So these questions uh, are WH questions. يعني في الجواب تصيبو معلومة. هنا by example وقتا شرح في رحلة راح في رحلة العام الماضي. Donc مدينة معلومة. Par contre ici les questions تاعنا qui sont بدي دودو etc. يعني هل من مدوش معلومة نقولو إما نعم أم لا. Donc تقولو إما نعم أم لا avec short answer. No he didn't ولا yes he did. دونك لا لوكسيليا على حساب هذا نحطوه هنا ومن بعد الا حبيتو تزيدو افيك لي ديتاي تزيدو يا با سوسي اف يو وونت تو اد ديتيلز هير نو بروبلم با وين يو سي نو هي ديدنت اتس كوريكت اكتيفيتي 3 فايند ان ذا تكست ووردز ذات ار كلوزست اور اوبوزيت ان مينين تو ذا فولوين مونيمنت وي سيد ات ان ذا بريفيس فيديوز لاند مارك ان نون فيموس الوغ ان نون معناتها غير معروف وكي تنحو له يو ان بريفيكس يولي نو معناتها معروف اذا درناه معروف لو سينونيم تاعو فيموس بصح هنا النون لو سينونيم تاعو فيموس انا بريتو لوبوزي تاعو باردون فيموس كونستراكتد بيلت ديفرنت سيم فوالا وي موف تو ذا كوريكشن اوف ذا سيكند بارت سو بانكتويشن هير ان ذا سنتنس Taj Mahal is a famous landmark situated in India. We put a capital letter here and here. Why? Because it's a proper noun of a famous landmark. Is a famous landmark, no punctuation, situated in India. I, capital letter, why? Because it's a country. Belad. And you've got full stop. It's not a question, so it's a declarative or an affirmative sentence. So it's full stop. Activity two, write the sentences in the passive voice. Here, my pupil did his homework. We just inverse, but we don't say his homework. Yes, because the meaning is heavy. We say the homework was done. 
Here did, c'est vous avez le, la troisième colonne dans le livre Takum, in the third column of your book. Did, le participe à cette ha donne. Où je m'entends à participe à cette ha, verbe du more auxiliary. L'auxiliaire est un passé voice, et ma was, et ma wife le passé. Donc, was done by my pupil. Of course, by, you have to add it. They took pictures in Constantine. Pictures were taken by them in Constantine. Pictures here, objet ou les sujets. Were, parce que pluriel. Took ou les taken. Check, uh, check up in your book. By them. Alors, they ou les them. Je fais la liste de les tchoulou. In Constantine, it's a place. Qui est dans le monde, il y a des gens qui le bidaya, des gens qui sont dans le monde, des gens qui sont dans le monde. Qui est dans le passive voice, mais il y a des gens qui sont dans le monde. Il y a des gens qui sont dans le monde, il y a des gens qui sont dans le monde. She visited England last year, elle est dans le monde last year, il y a des gens qui sont Alors, visited, it's a regular verb, ça ne change pas, il y a des gens qui sont dans le monde, un auxiliaire, il y a des gens qui sont dans le monde. Alors, je dis que c'est un auxiliaire, parce que c'est un auxiliaire, c'est un singulier, c'est un singulier. England is one, so singular. So England was visited by her, she becomes her last year. I hope it's clear. We move now to the third activity. Classify the following words according to the pronunciation of the diphthong. About, ow, here. Coin, oi, here. Mountains, a here. Ear, e here. Don't forget, we've got eight diphthongs in English. We just took four diphthongs. Concerning the correction of this part, part three written expression, if you have seen my previous videos, we have already dealt with reporting a trip. So it's the same, uh, the, the same principles, you just have to apply all the advice I gave you last time to write a good paragraph about reporting a trip. That's all for today, my dear pupils. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the few minutes we spent together. We meet inshallah in another video where we're going to present a new sequence, the second sequence of fourth year English program. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.